All right, we're gonna take a look at how to fix gun clipping in Unreal Engine. There's a bunch of stuff out there on the internet, but I couldn't find anything too specific, um, like a tutorial how to do it. So here's a pretty quick and easy way to do it. So here's what happens. Here's the gun clipping. You go up to the wall. Oh, it goes right in. It's terrible. Your body won't go through it, but the gun does, and which is the worst. Um, let's see here. All, see, now on here, all the guns do it. Terrible. It goes right through the wall. So, very unrealistic. It's You just can't have that. So, what's, let's take a look at some of the ways to fix that. So, if we go back to our event graph, if you'll see um, on the character, if a uh, default character class, it has the, uh, it has the uh, collision. And, the main, and this is the main collision. And so, this is what actually... It, everything works off of so you can put collision boxes in here like you see this collision box and there's also collision on the gun here uh, you see these right here um, you can put those on there and they will work for collision like if you hit a, a dynamic box or something with physics it'll knock it over um, but if it's a wall like a static wall uh, that keeps the character from going it won't work you'll just go right into it so <clears throat> I don't know of any way to, around that you can make this the main collision bigger uh, big enough to encompass the gun, the gun, but as you can tell, if you start making this collision bigger, um, it's going to get so big on the sides too, where you can't go through doors, and uh, so that that won't work either. <clears throat> the easiest way that I have found to do it, um, some people do a line trace right here, but then you're stuck with another tick. Um, but I thought the easiest way to do it would is just put a uh, collision right here, a collision component. And then on that co collision component, let me take a look at this uh, in just a moment. On this this collision component that I put on the gun itself, um, it do it does not have physics set, <clears throat> and then it only has uh, generate overlaps for the collision, and then it has query only no physics, and the only thing that's um, ignored is the visibility, the camera, and a projectile. Uh, everything else is overlapped. So that's how that's set up. And then if you go into your event graph, <clears throat> simply on the move, um, on that collision that we were just talking about that was on the end of the gun, you create an on component begin overlap. So anytime it overlaps with something, um, and on here we just just made it something, uh, if it's simulating physics, we don't want it to overlap because what will happen is uh, the gun will come up but it'll be uh, coming up and going down as it hits physical objects. So it's, if it if it's, has physics, we don't want to do anything. Um, and then simply all it does is uh, do once. It does a timeline. And in that timeline, um, we created a float track. And you can see there. And then we made some points here. Um, the first one starts at zero. And then it goes to negative uh, 1999 or 20. And what that does is it changes this rotation value. So if you go back to the viewpoint, all it's going to do is when this up here, this collision right here, hits a wall. <clears throat> I'm going to go back down here a little bit. All it's going to do is move um, <clears throat> the X value or rotate the arms up. See that? That's all it's going to do. It's going to, up through the timeline over um, 0.2 seconds. So in 0.2 seconds, it'll move it up like this, and then once it the overlap is done, it'll it'll move back down just like that. That's all it does. Very simple, um, and th that's used with the timeline. So over and th that's the 0.2 seconds, as you can see right here. We just created a float parameter, and then <clears throat> and you can see the timeline right here. If you click on the last one, you'll see time is 0.2 seconds. It's going to go minus which is very easy to do. So this over 0.2 seconds is going to count this down. Uh, it's going to roll back the X 20, uh, 20 degrees. <clears throat> and then that's it. So then when you let off, it says on component end overlap, you'll see what happens. It uh, just reverses it. So it goes, it just re so if it's up in the air, then it just brings it back down over the 0.2 seconds and breaks the transform. <clears throat> we did have, uh, I did need to create a, gun location variable so as soon as it as soon as this begins it it locks that in so it knows where the gun is and then you could pull that information um, in order to set this up uh, then what you do is just set relative transform <clears throat> and then it's going to be on that uh, that mesh 
the, uh, the hands, which is the MP2. So this is the actual MP2. And then it just moves it up and down. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. We got it uh, hooked up here. Really easy stuff here. And let's check it now that it's set up. I'll click play. And there's our house again. We'll go on down here. See what happens. See how it just brings up the gun. And you can, <clears throat> of course, you know, move the gun however some people might want to move the gun just to the left where it comes in towards them um, i just thought it was easy enough to come up the way that the hands are set up and everything and this any um anything that you have it set up on it'll work on also so any of your other guns or yeah real easy a simple solution um not a lot of overhead you're not using a tick um, so basically you just put a collision on the end of your gun and then uh, set up the code just like this on a begin overlap um, set a, a timeline get your gun location uh, transform set that and then uh, run through the through here if you have any questions or if you found a better way to do this I would love to hear some feedback on this uh, definitely love to hear some feedback on um, on this collision, you know, the, this is the the main collision uh, for the character component, and it looks like that's the only one that works. You can't get any other collision to work because you would think that you would just put a collision on your gun, and then when you hit a wall, uh, it would just stop, just like um, just like it, when it hits this collision up here, but it doesn't. <clears throat> I don't know if there's some kind of limitation. Um, it's very odd. There's there are a lot of uh, people talking about it, but it doesn't seem like there's a lot of solutions. So I hope this helps you, and if you have any other solutions, I'd love to hear from them. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day.